guys, so I am here and I am standing next to a linotype machine. If you remember from one of my previous videos, I talked about this documentary, which is Linotype the Film. And since I was going to be in New York this week, I figured I might as well email Davin, who works at Woodside Press, which is a print shop in Brooklyn, and he has a working linotype machine. And after seeing this movie, I just really won't. So after seeing the movie, I really wanted to come see one in person. And so here I am, and this is so cool. This is like the coolest machine I have ever seen in my life. And add that to the fact that it completely revolutionized printing and graphic design, and I just kind of really want one. But a lot of you are probably fairly young or just have no idea about the printing business, and so you might even not know what this machine does. So for a full detailed history, you can watch... So if you want to check out the whole history of the linotype, you can watch this wonderful movie, which I am not being paid to promote. I bought this DVD with my own money. I just think it is a fantastic movie. But if you want a quick intro, here is Davin to give you a really quick history of this awesome machine. <laughs> Go. All right, cool. What was really revolutionary about this was that mechanical typesetting tools up till now had attempted to sort the handset type into lines to print from. This took brass mats and assembled them, then cast new type. Oh, it's warm. Yeah, it's five hundred degrees about yeah. two seconds ago. Wow. Which solved two problems. It kept the type fresh, so you're always printing from a brand new type, and uh, you didn't have to have four hundred. Ease, you only had to have about 15 or 20 mats that were ease. Each magazine holds one typeface, one size. So this is a condensed six point gothic of some sort. Whenever you want to change typefaces, you have to pull this whole unit off. This holds 91 channels of mats, lowercase letters, special characters, and uppercase. Then type on the keyboard down here. The mats are assembled here. And then they're cast uh, in this part of the machine here in front of the mold wheel. In the back is the pot which has molten lead. After the line is cast, it's ejected and trimmed. The assembly arm comes down and picks up all the mats. sorts them back into their current channel. Quite complicated. It is quite complicated. <laughs> and it all happens in about a couple of uh, seconds. Minute, second and a half. Right. <laughs> Thank you to Woodside Press for letting me come in and make this video. I'll link to Linotype the Film down below if you want to check it out yourself. I don't know exactly when I'll be posting this video, but I will link my two previous videos here and here. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Ah, noise! <laughs>